Uh, Merwin Ford. Merwin, mm. Merwin the Magnificent, as we call him. He's an old hat here at the La Fontaine. He was a Little Mermaid. How does it feel having the daunting job of Nathan Lane's understudy? It's uh, it's daunting. I've it's, seen uh, you go on in Chicago when you did a magnificent job. Thank you. Uh, it's a lot because, as you know, there's a lot of changes in the script and in the score since we were in Chicago. Because of that, I've had to erase a lot of my brain and then reteach it stuff. And you'll be halfway through a scene that seems to be the same as it was in Chicago, and then it dramatically changes. And so you're constantly trying to write yourself. Well, I'd like to let our viewers know that you got a magnificent reception in Chicago, and you'll get one here. Well, I should hope for the for the five or six people that decide to stay and watch the show, <laughs> that would be very nice. <laughs> yeah, it'll be their good fortune. Oh, thank you. I think I heard Nathan cough. What? Here's someone in the boys' room has the Adams Family umbrella available at the Adams Family gift shop. And uh, there's a set of golf clubs in the boys' dressing room. I haven't figured out what that's about. See if there's any boys. Oh, no, no boys. Story of my life. Say, Lurch, what you got there? <laughs> oh, it's the Lurch water bottle available in the uh, lobby unlike the cd jackie hoffman live at joe's pub <laughs> thank you lurch you're watching our swings and understudies perform a number from the second act they're rehearsing in case an anvil drops and they have to go on behind you, behind you. And uh, in an hour, they're going to go next door and do some numbers from Promises, Promises. <laughs> Death is just around the corner, and you have to the call. And the best part, you're getting the point of view of the beanbag chair now. I am actually in the beanbag chair filming. I'm on location in the beanbag chair. All right, all right. Hey, Redhead, thank you. I'll take the big brunette on the right. Morgan, you don't look like yourself lately. What's wrong? I don't know. It just. Being in a commercial blockbuster is just so exhausting. You know? <laughs> Have you tried this? Jackie Hoffman's Live at Joe's Pub? No. It works for me. Really? It's amazing. You should try it. Uh, 
Well, if it's so amazing, why isn't it in the Adams family lobby? I don't know. I just don't know. That's right, Jackie Elfman Live at Joe's Pub reduces cramps, bloating, fatigues, and headaches. And makes me feel fresh as a spring morning. Well, it's become a favorite segment here on Jackie Hoffman's video blog. It's fan mail. Jackie's got her fan mail. We got reviewed. This one's from Amy O'Connor in... Oh, my. She claims she's from Ireland. Well. Wow. Oops, that's Scotland. I felt compelled to write you, having reviewed your hilarious, oh hilarious, sorry Amy, uh, video blogs on Broadway.com in which you read some of the fan mail letters that you have received. Your blogs have been the highlights of my week and have served as a welcome distraction from things like studying, uh, taking care of my 17 children and my alcoholic husband who beats me. I'm kidding, I made that up. <laughs> she just wrote studying. I would love to see you as grandma, unfortunately, as I live thousands of miles from New York, this is near impossible. Well, I went to Ireland, bitch, okay? That wasn't impossible. So, loved it, by the way. So instead, I am writing to ask a favor. Uh-oh. Uh, as much as that guy Dylan's dream was to have his name spoken aloud, my dream is to have my name sang aloud. Would it be possible to hear the incomparable Jackie Hoffman sing my name aloud? Amy, Amy O'Connor, Amy, Amy O'Connor, Amy O'Connor. This is Benjamin from Byron, Minnesota. You have been a great inspiration to me. You have the gift of being able to make people laugh. That's what people need nowadays. Love the blog. They get me to give me a chance to live vicariously through you. Oh, God, don't live vicariously through me, honey. You'll take a lot of pills and you'll cry a lot. I was wondering if you could give me some advice about acting. Should I get, oh, did I say vice? I mean advice about acting. Should I get a performing arts degree? And if not, you know, I can't take responsibility like this. Advice for actors, I always tell you what my mother told me. Have something to fall back on and get married. Here we go with the signed, let's see, can you sign my playbill? I feel it. There it is. Here we go with the return envelope. Always asking for something. I put it in here so it doesn't bend so easily. Oh, and he put it in plastic. He took such good care of it. I hope it doesn't bend. Oh my goodness. Don't bend it. Here, let's just put this back in here and we'll make sure that that gets signed. Thanks. And finally, for the first time this week, Jackie's got hate mail. Jackie got some hate mail. There's only one so far. Dear Jackie, I doubt this will make it to your blog, but nevertheless, translation, I really want you to read it on your blog. I'm a huge fan of yours. Since, oh, the naming the plays and the Joe's Pub and the Broadway, you're finally getting the platforms you deserve for your remarkable gifts. That being says, please, that being said, please, ditch the video blogging. You are a brilliant comedian at the top of your game and a usually exciting Broadway musical. Please stop whining about Sinatra music, the size of your dressing room, lack of fan mail, your Joe's Pub whining was artful, but the carping about petty grievances, come on. You make a Broadway production contract salary and have a job thousands of actresses would kill for. Please take a breath, get some perspective, and get your whining back on stage, scripted where it belongs. Signed, oh no name, a fan. Well, you know, fan... I like your be letter best of all because you didn't ask for a signed playbill and for that I am grateful. Thank you fan. <laughs>